My name is Anya Dreps, and I'm the instructor for the respiratory therapy program here at Marine Park Technical College. If you're interested in how things work, I feel like respiratory therapy is a good fit. You have to be empathetic and compassionate. You're going to be dealing with people who are kind of having the worst days of their lives. Being kind of somebody that's a little bit more technological or mechanically focused will all help you within the program. The role of the respiratory therapist is really about managing patients' oxygenation and ventilation needs. So our students' focus is really assessing patients' respiratory status, learning about therapeutics that we can perform on our patients that can help improve the way our patients breathe. The big kind of backbone of our program is understanding mechanical ventilation. So a lot of our patients in critical care settings require external devices to assist with their breathing. And as respiratory therapists, we're kind of the primary people within the hospital that manage those devices. Once you get into the core program, it takes two full years, so five semesters. You have a, a fall semester and a spring semester your first year. Then you're going to move into your summer clinicals where it's just hospital-based. You're going to go out into some of our clinical affiliate sites, get to practice some of the skills you learned over your first year, and take in-person classes on campus in the fall along with two additional clinical rotations. Your final spring semester will include classes on campus and more clinical rotations. We really feel it's important to give you as much hands-on experience as possible within the hospital settings. So behind me is kind of our main respiratory lab space. We've done a lot within the program in the last year to kind of update some of the equipment and materials that we have. One of our key items that we purchased this last year was a state-of-the-art simulator. So that is our sim man in the corner there. He actually doesn't just allow for patient assessment simulation, but it allows me to do complex mechanical ventilator simulations. Just enhances the learning here in the classroom. The program purchased last year a bedside ultrasound machine so that we can demonstrate some of that ultrasound guided vascular access within the classroom and during our lab experiences. We have a very active respiratory therapy club. Our club is called Longevity, and it's um, a very fun and dynamic group of students. We historically have a very high success rate for our students with their national board examinations after graduation and high placement within the employment community. The COVID pandemic has really heightened the awareness of the need for respiratory therapy. There are many, many bachelor's completion programs available to our students. The entry level into the profession right now is an associate's degree. A lot of our students get placed prior to graduation. Most of our hospitals in the area are offering very, very lucrative sign-on bonuses. Last reported average respiratory salary was in the high 60s, but I would say that that number's probably grown quite a bit in the last two years.